our money. Uh, we will we'll be super excited to have you. Uh, we can't wait for you to dish out that nugget for us this morning. Thank you very much, and to you, uh, 21st century women. Good morning, Coach Dan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you doing today, sir? Um, I want to be sure everybody can hear me. Good morning, good morning, yes, good morning. We can hear you loud and clear. Good afternoon, good evening, because I'm very sure that people join in from different parts of the world. We're from Lagos here in Nigeria. It's morning, so I like to say good morning. Thank God it's Friday. Good morning. Awesome morning. I'm so super excited to be on this call this morning. Uh, thanks to everybody that's been on this call. I want to appreciate our, our host, um, Dr. Afolabi Olatunji, for this awesome platform and privilege to share value with um, people. I would like to say God bless you. And once again, I'd like to welcome everybody on this call this morning. Uh, this week, we've been touching on goal settings. So I'm so excited to be wrapping it up today, being a Friday. And um, what I want to talk about this morning is something that I'm passionate about it because I have given it a try. And then it has um, really... Uh, affected my life positively, so I'm excited to, to share it with people. Because if you ask me, the principles that govern success and the smooth running of life, they are the same thing. What is left for you is to practice them. Some people will say, oh, that man is lucky, that woman is lucky. But I feel that if you do the same things that they do the way they do it, you would definitely get the same result. And before we go into what I have to share with us, I'd like for us to note this. You cannot do things the same way and expect a different result. Please take note of this as we start this class. You cannot do things the same way and expect the same result. You don't want to leave 2022 the way you lived 2021 and you expect a different 2022. So it should be a clear fact that if you want 2022 to be different, apart from you wishing, apart from you praying, apart from you fasting, you've got to do some things differently for a different result. So this week we've been touching on goal settings and I will be talking about the importance of writing down your goals. Um, we spoke about goal settings. I would like you to please subscribe on, on our YouTube channel. I don't know, Coach Dan, if you can help us share the link so they can click on it and maybe subscribe on it so they can go and check the classes that we've had because we've, we've defined goals. We've talked about affirmation and the importance of um, affirmation. Yesterday, Coach Tan taught us what our affirmations should um, look like. So I would like for us to look at that so that we, 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 can, we should watch those ones so we can have a foundation and be able to wrap it all up appropriately. So what are our goals? Goals are our aims and desired, um, are they are our aims. They are desired results, like what you want from life. Like, okay, I, I want to be a tailor. I want to be a graduate. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a mother. I want to be a wife. Those are your goals, the things that you want from life, the things that you desire. Those are goals. And we already touched on, on those ones. Like I used to tell people, every time you need to ask yourself the three questions, who am I? Where am I? What do I want to become? These are the things that will guide you in your goals. Now, I say I want to talk about the importance of goals, uh, importance of writing down your goals. Why should I write down my goals? I've come to discover that people say, I know what I want. When you say write it down, they'll be like, it's not necessary. Why? Because human beings are generally lazy, you know. So writing it down, I don't know. They see it as something that is not really necessary, you know. And even the Bible says in the book of Habakkuk 2, verse 2 to 3, that we should write the vision down, we should make it plain, that whomever sees it will run with it. Yesterday, I was looking at that verse in the Message Bible. The Message Bible says that even though it tarries, it will definitely come to pass. So it means that there's power in writing down these things. So I, I even me, at the point in my life, I knew what I wanted, but writing it down was not really part of me until I got the grasp of writing it down. And believe you me, 
it has not been the same story ever since I started writing down my goals. We are touched on having short-term goals, long-term goals, short-term goals that can be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly goals. So it's very important that you write them. You write them down clearly. You write them down clearly. Now, you say, why should I write down my goals? So this is what I'm really going to touch on this morning, why you should write down your goals. Number one reason why you should write down your goals is because it makes you focused. It makes you focused because you've written it down now. Like, I'm going to be talking with examples. Like, okay, my goal for this month of January is to earn or make a profit of 10,000 US dollars. I have written it down amongst other goals for January because I have short-term goals, I have long-term goals. My long-term goal could be, oh, I want to buy a house. That's a long-term goal. But how do I buy the house? I have to save. I need more money because I have gone to price the house that I want to buy. And they've told me that, okay, it's maybe $100,000 or it's $200,000. So I know that I need to earn more money. So I've written it down. For January, I am going to earn or make a profit of 10,000 US dollars. I have written it down. It makes me focus. It gives you a vivid um, picture of what you want. It makes you determined. It makes you conscious. So it's quite important not to just wish for things like I, I want this. You have to write it down with a pen and a paper. Have a notepad where you write down your goals. Do you understand? It makes you so focused because you look at it. What I do is I have a journal where I write down my daily sales and all that. So I write my goals in there. I copy it in my um, salmon notes. Like I put it in, in, in books that I see like almost every day. So when you write it down, like you have a vision. You have a clear picture of what you really want. And before you know, you see the law of attraction makes these things to come your way. Because you've written it, writing it down gives a broad picture of what you really want. Another, another point, number two, is that it helps you to identify your wins. I would like to touch more on this because human beings, we know that our wants, they are insatiable. We always want something in life. We always need something in life. But when you write it down, when I started writing down my, my, my goals, I discovered that I'm not actually doing bad after all. Because when I write down my goals for January or let's say December or 2021, at the end of 2021, when I looked at it, I had almost all ticked out, maybe like two left. I'm like, wow. So I'm, I'm able to sit down and say, oh, okay, so how come, what happened? Why didn't I get this two? I was able to identify the challenges, the shortcomings. I was able to identify my wins. You understand? My losses, my lessons, because I wrote them down. If some of those things had happened that I didn't even remember how they happened or when they happened. But when I saw it, I said, whoa. Wow, so I actually did this. Now, it gave me confidence. It gave me joy. So when you write down your goals, it gives you this temporary fulfillment and excitement, like, wow, so I'm not actually doing bad. Do you get, it motivates you. But if you do not write it down, how do you know that you have done well for yourself? Do you get it? Okay, for instance, because the truth is, our goals change by time. You want a particular kind of... um position, maybe at work or, or you plan to do some things and you've written it down, it's possible that you have achieved that thing along the line. But because we grow daily, it's possible that you have grown above what you wanted at first. So when you achieve it, before you achieve this, self, you address the bar. You won't even be able to recognize the fact that you had achieved the previous one. So it is very essential to write it down so that when you go to look at it, you see that, wow, I have done well. Number three is that it gives you, uh, it makes you grateful. And gratitude is a lot. The act of being grateful is a lot. Instead of complaining and grumbling, when we show gratitude, it opens the door for more blessings. It opens the door for more opportunities. So that's my third point on writing down our goals. When you write down your goals, it makes you grateful. It makes you, because when you look at it, you, you can be able to take out the things that you've achieved and what you have not achieved. So you look at, okay, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? And you'll be able to be focused and you can map out the thing. Number four is that it makes your goals smart goals. 
We've been taught on SMART goals for the benefit of those that are joining us maybe for the first time. What are SMART goals? Your goals are supposed to be, SMART is an acronym for being specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and within the time frame. When you write it down, the, the goals are specific. Like I said, okay, I want to earn 10,000 US dollars this month. I'm specific. I make it measurable. At the end of January, I look at it. Wow, how much did I now earn? Oh, I earned 5,000. I earned 7,000 USD. Oh, so what do I need to do? Okay, I need to work more. I need to supply more. I need to invest more. I need to do this more. It's achievable. It's not that I am earning $1,000 now and I just jump to say I want to earn a billion dollar. Yes, you can have faith. You can believe. You can dream big. You can have long-term goals. You have you, you are privileged. You are, you are chanced. Or how do I put it? No, you are allowed rather to, to dream big. But when you are writing down your goals, your goals are not wishes. They are not dreams. Don't let us get confused. Your goals should be things that are achievable, not something too outrageous that you find very difficult. Because when you make your goals too outrageous, when you don't hit those goals, it brings you down. It makes you frustrated. And let me not lie to you. When you achieve your goals, they are great motivation. Everybody has this excitement and happiness and ginger to move on when you discover that you are not doing bad. You make your goals realistic. Do you get it? Are they realistic? Because if they are realistic, when you can, when you write down the goal, your goals are realistic when you even know how to achieve it. When I say I want to hand 10,000 USD, I look at my business. Okay, how much am I earning in this business now? So what do I need to do to earn more. I know that, okay, I need to supply more. I need to attend more trade fairs. I need to do wholesale. I need to bring in more goods. I need to, to do uh, more investment and all of those things. So they are realistic and within a time frame. So when you write down your goals, it makes your goals smart, smart and smart goals. So my, my, my people, it is quite important not to just keep your goals in your head. Please and please try to write down your goals because when you write them down, like I've said, it makes you focused, it makes you conscious, it makes you have a clear picture. Amongst this point, the one I do not want you to forget is that it makes you pat yourself at the back and say, wow, I am doing well. Because the truth is, sometimes we fail. It is normal, it's reality. We plan to do things and then they don't turn out the way we want. But it's good. But if you don't even write those things down, how would you be able to identify the ones that you've achieved? You just keep beating yourself every time. Oh, I'm not doing well. And you keep complaining. You are not grateful. But when you write them down, it helps you to encourage yourself by saying, I am actually not a failure. The failure that I have now is a proof that I'm trying and I can do better. So for me, I, I, I see that as one of the key points in this thing. So I would like to implore us to please write down our goals. And I would like to leave us with this. No matter the area of your life that you're working on, could it be your, your, your physical look? Could it be your business? Could it be your spiritual life? Could you be your discipline? Could it be your marriage? Could you be your uh, career? Whatever area of your life that you're working on, writing down your goals will give you a clear vision and it will help you to know where you are going because it's going to save you the energy and the time of wasting unnecessary resources and it helps you to be precise on how and where and what to do to get your goals being achieved. I think I've been able to touch down on, on this point and uh, I'm on this note, I would like to give it back to Coach Dan um, this morning. Thank you, Coach Dan. Importance, right. thank you very much. That was power packed. Mama, are you always loaded? Thank you for Thank dishing you, out this for us this morning. The importance of writing our goals. Guys, you have had it all. Needless to say that we are starting the year January on a very vital topic, goal settings. All right. And um, she just ran it all for us for the week. You just have to write down your goal. It's scriptural. All right. Yeah. I'm not going to, to set it. Write it down, make it plain so that it becomes clearer. You know what you're doing. I mean, Mama, that was power pack. Thank you so very much 
for that. And I, I just want to say this, guys, um, this program runs Monday through Friday. All right, the same Zoom room, the same link, the same time, 9 a.m. West African time. And that will be 11 a.m. East African time. All right, it's not tied up to any business. We're just creating a platform where we empower us mentally with all the necessary tools we need to succeed in life. And I want to say this to you, 2022, if you can simply apply all of these principles when it comes to goal settings, the affirmation, writing down your goals, working them consciously every day. I mean, you started with something very, you started with something very, very true that if you do the same thing over and over again, you cannot get a different result. I mean, that was power pack. So if we must get a different 2022, we must learn to do things differently. All right, that was it for us this week. Thank you for wrapping up the week for us in such a powerful way. And then we hope that this recording will be made available so that we can go back and listen to them, to read over and over and over.